So today, Razer have ended up sending over their Strider Chroma RGB mouse mats that, in theory, should be 19 times better than what I'm currently using in my setup, which is the Goliathus Chroma, that has just one LED lighting zone. Unacceptable. Whereas this has 19, hence why it's uh, 19 times better. It makes perfect sense to me. This could very well be the best extended RGB mouse mats out there, period. So this is the actual box it comes in, pretty standard, pretty big box. I should say. But then again, we're not talking about some little baby mouse mat. This is more like a desk mat with RGB lighting everywhere. Let's open this thing up, man. Let's see how this is gonna transform our setup from looking okay to looking incredible. Now all we gotta do is uncable manage the old mouse mat wire. We can pull it through the table and uh, yeah, just dispose of this immediately, basically. It's only got one RGB lighting zone, dude. So first things first, I'm gonna just run the wire through the hole in my table. Gonna take our keyboard, put it back here, and we'll just do a quick cable management job. And it's plugged in, and then it's working. We've got the drivers installed. Everything is now up and running the way it should be. We've got the Razer Strata Chroma mouse mat appearing on Razer Synapse now as well. And this is what everything looks like with the wave effect. As you can see, it's clearly working. It's clearly doing and it's you know rainbow wave let's set everything to spectrum cycle and see how these two mouse mats really compare against one another since these are pretty much two of Razer's best extended chroma mouse mats you can see there's actual stitching holding the fiber optic bead in place to the actual Goliathus mouse mat but on the Strider Chroma you see there's no stitching and it's this beautiful clean smooth RGB lighting all round. But the way the actual RGB effects work between these two mouse mats are very different. You can see right here where the actual LED light source is and points into each fiber optic bead going all the way around the mouse mat. If we zoom out, you can see real bright spots. In fact, this is brighter than pretty much any part of the Strider Chroma, but as you venture further away from the actual light source, it gets dimmer and dimmer and dimmer to the point where this section right here really isn't that bright anymore, but it does get a little bit brighter in each corner of the Goliathus Chroma, whereas you do not have this sort of hot spot and dark spot in the LED lighting effects on any point of the Strata Chroma because there are actual individual LEDs pointing light in outward directions all around the mouse mat, which definitely results in a way better looking mouse mat and way better looking RGB lighting. But then the moment your room gets brighter and there's some light shining on the mouse mat itself, say directly directly from the actual sun or something, you're gonna quickly see that your RGB is all of a sudden invisible and you, you no longer see it on your mouse mat, which is sort of heartbreaking, really. Like that is very clear, even when the sun shines on it, you can still see it, but then when the sun hits the mouse mat, can you really see the RGB anymore? You can on the keyboard, but you really can't on the mouse mat anymore, which is a shame. But to be fair though, if we do put the other mouse mat in the same location where the sun is hitting it, you can't really see the RGB either. But then given that this is more than double the price of the one we're comparing it, against. It is a better mouse mat in terms of the actual mouse mat material. I mean, it does sort of come down to personal preference and what you like yourself. I really like Razer Strider lineup of mouse mats. It's a mix of like a cloth, really soft material and like a plastic hard material. It just allows your mouse to glide much easier with much less friction on the actual mouse mat, allowing you to hopefully perform better in whatever game you're using. And it's just a nicer mouse mat to use day to day. And given how differently the lights are set up in the Strider, I genuinely expected this to be miles brighter, like way, way brighter than this one. The location of the hub where the cable comes out of is also different. Instead of it being up here where it would be on the Goliathus, it's now on the side. I actually do prefer the location of it being on the side. It's just a little bit cleaner and uh, unfortunately I am gonna have to do some modifications to this Strider Chroma mouse mat which I'm almost dreading to do because this is such a nice mouse mat in terms of its material but uh, I will be putting a hole through it just like I did for the Goliathus, all in the name of cable management. We're gonna route our keyboard wire, not only just through the desk, but also, unfortunately, through the mouse mat. I'm sorry, Razor, but it has to be done. The cable management comes first, or does the RGB come first? One of them comes first, but nevertheless, we're putting a hole through this mouse mat. I will attempt to do a better job with an actual, like, exacto, super sharp knife right here, because last time I straight up used a karambit to pierce the Goliathus mouse mat. Now, I need to be strategic about where I actually put this hole. Oh, okay, all right, we're, we're, we're through, we're through. Oh, God, why? Oh, oh. Okay, we've made an incision. This is definitely fine. I'm sure Razer really appreciates me putting a massive hole through their mouse mat. Ah, the cable's through. We've done it. 
we've done it. Okay, good, 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 good. And thankfully, after plugging it all back together, it's still working because uh, after making my incision in the mouse mat, I've made a bit of a discovery. If we just pop the keyboard there for now, you can see the light is actually shining through the very center of the mouse mat. So there's almost like this RGB like layer all throughout the entire like mouse mat. It's not just on the edges, it's everywhere. And it does make a whole lot more sense now. Why it was rather difficult to even pierce a hole through the mouse mat, because normally you're just stabbing through a bit of cloth and rubber to prevent the mouse mat from slipping around on your table. But this time you're stabbing through a layer of plastic with RGB lights all over it. So yeah, it definitely adds to a layer of rigidity to the whole mouse mat as well. Like this mouse mat seems to lay a little bit more flat, just naturally it's more of a flat mouse mat to have on your table and there's not like bumps and ridges everywhere. Very good. For a big mouse mat like this, it lays extremely flat on your table. And the material that they've used on the bottom of the mouse mat, if I flip this over for you guys, it is actually very different to the material used underneath the Goliathus one. This is super anti-slippy. This one's super anti-slippy, man. Very good stuff. Basically, it just seems to stick to your table a whole lot better than the Goliathus did. Anyway, though, I'll leave links to the mouse mat as well as everything else in the desk setup down below in the description for you guys. But if you're looking to improve your desk setup further, you're gonna wanna watch this video here where I teach you the secrets of cable management and how to genuinely make your whole desk setup look completely wireless.